graphic arts um, I finished um, I finished my um, color coloring thing where we took a picture that our teacher picked out for us the color no matter it didn't matter what color what what colors we use as long as it was colored including the background so um, so uh, yeah, and this this is what it looks like. That is my Dragon Ball Z O C Amber from the planet Blazerus. Um, I had um, I had a lot of fun making her. Well, coloring her. Um, it's obviously a different person, uh, a different anime character, but hey, it was a canvas. Um, I also I also colored this for kicks, considering I love dank memes. I'm obsessed with them. So yeah, that's um, that's Sanic and Pepe, and. Those are, those two are one of my favorite me. Well, two of my favorite memes. So, um, so yeah. Now today at school in first period, um, I almost broke down in tears. Um, don't worry, it wasn't from depression. Um, it was from appreciation. Um, <laughs> so my um my my first period teacher considering I'm in social skills which should help me with it's basically it's kind of therapy a group therapy class at, at school and I like it even though it's a all-girl class um, we in the beginning of class um, for the 15 minutes of class, after we do the Pledge of Allegiance, we do this thing, um, I forgot what it was called, if it was called anything, but we write in our journals uh, anything we want for 15 minutes. And um, and I kind of like to write if it's anything I want to write and something that I feel is important, as important for me to write. And... Um, she even she even give, gave us a choice that if we didn't want her to read it, we put on the top "Do not read." Um, but let me let me get the um. So uh, this thing, I think I wrote this uh, yesterday. Let's see, yeah, yesterday, um, August thirtieth, sixteenth. Um, I wrote about me. And this is, and I think there's some in here that I haven't told you guys. So, eh. uh, I'm not gonna give out name. I'm not gonna give out her name because as private. But um, this is about me. My name is Madeline Bouchard, but I ref but I refer to myself as Matt, short for Matthew. I identify as male, and I'm proud of that, which I am. I am also bisexual and proud of that as well. Yeah. I love to draw, write, play games, and make videos for my YouTube channel, which is The Crazy YouTuber. Uh, on my channel, I do let's plays, live streams, vlogs, and maybe some skits. In fact, I'm in the process of making a skit right now. At home, life is alright, I guess. I do my chores, which, con which cons consists of doing the dishes and cleaning the cat boxes. Sometimes, but rarely, I mow the front lawn when my dad asks me to. And what I mean by rarely, I mean rarely. It's rare he asks me to do it. And then when he has to do it himself, he complains that I don't do it. And I'm like, 
All you gotta do is ask. It's not that hard. This is not rocket science. Um, there is some drama, but it only happens when I try to convince my mother of my gender identity. Some serious facts about me that... Mm, mm, sorry. Some serious facts about me is that I have ADHD, depression, anxiety, and anger problems. My depression got worse when my grandmother passed away a week after my birthday on May 13th, 2016. And, um, so, uh, I wrote this. Uh, at first, I was never gonna write something about this. Because, um, when it comes to teachers, honestly, I can't really trust... I can't really trust um, to give out my true identity, even though I'm I'm proud of it. But um, but when um, on the first day on the 29th, when she asked us what name we would prefer to be called, and I said Matt, um, she was like, "Okay, Matt." The next day, yesterday, she. She said, "How you doing? Uh, how you doing, ladies or gentlemen?" And she looked at me and she said, "Or gentlemen, if that's what you identify as." And my eyes lit up. And I said this yesterday in my vlog about how I had to walk very long. My feet still hurt, <laughs> but not as bad as it did yesterday. But anyway, we're getting off topic. Um, my eyes lit up, and I was, I was happy. I was, ab I was about to break down in tears. I was about to break down in tears so bad. Um, because the only other adult that I have told that I was transgender, and they actually accepted it, that I can remember, is one of my friends who is in their 30s that I met at a uh, camp, at the camp that I used to go to. So having a teacher saying that to me made me so happy that I wanted to break down in tears. I felt so happy. I felt like myself, okay? I felt like I was treated as the person that I am. So yeah. So today, she handed me back my paper and um... And the reason why it was on paper is because I didn't have a journal. Um, but this is what she wrote. Matt, thank you for sharing all of these things with me. You are a very strong you're a very strong young man to realize your true identity and live that lifestyle at such a young age. Being as you identify as male, how do you feel about being in an all girls class? I'm sorry you're struggling with all of these health issues and and of your loss of your grandmother. Hopefully I can help you overcome some obstacles you're facing. And then she, and then she made a point about how we're almost how we almost share birthdays because her birthday is like a week after mine. It's not on the 13th, thank God. <laughs> um, but after I wrote this, I just sat there smiling and I could like literally one tear fell out of my eyes. I was so, I felt so appreciated. I felt respected. And an adult referred to me as who I identify as. And and not to mention that it was a teacher and I was so I was so happy I was so happy to um I thought I was I thought I was happy when I had like, well now five teachers are referring to me by my by my male name which is awesome but um but I felt I felt so happy I felt I felt like I felt like myself I didn't I didn't feel like a different person it, it was amazing. It was the best feeling of my life. So, yeah, I thought, like I said, I thought being, having, gained five of my teachers to call me by my male name was awesome. No. 
my first period teacher had to put the cherry on top of that Sunday and and it wrote that. I mean, it's so emotional. I feel like tearing up right now. But considering, considering um, I don't like to cry in front of the camera, <laughs> that's not my thing. It might have been my thing when I was a baby. I re really didn't have control over it. But, but yeah. But if I do start crying, I'm probably going to cut it out of this because I'm so imp uh, I'm I don't know. But yeah, I feel really appreciated and I really wanted to just stand up and hug her and say thank you. And the only thing I wish is my mother could do the same thing. But the problem is the reason why she is not willing to do that is because she doesn't believe. She doesn't have proof. Okay, and she's not going to get the proof until I walk into possibly her new house and with no tits and I'm on tea and I'm like hey mom what's up your son's home and I swear if she still refers to me as a female after I get top surgery and I'm on tea whenever that may be I'm just never gonna come back ever I know she's my mother, but I have a feeling even if I do show proof and I come through the front door with a deep voice, facial hair, and no chest, she's still not going to respect my identity. I, f I feel like that's when she tells, even though she tells me that um, she's going to, that she supports me and stuff. But still. Um, but anyway, so on a positive note, yeah, so, yeah. I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. And also, um, hopefully this weekend, um, it is planned. I'm finally gonna get this thing on my head you call hair situated. <laughs> And um, like I said, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you or show you or give you hints of what style I'm gonna get. Though some of, some of you are probably gonna think I'm trying to copy off of someone, but I like the hairstyle and I want to go with it. So yeah. Um, and if you don't appreciate that, then that's fine. That's your opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. All right. There's no wrong opinion and there's no right opinion. There's only an opinion. So uh, yeah. Um, also, um, before I made this video, I made a separate video, but it's on my personal Facebook, where um, I asked my friends if they can help me with um, with finding ways to make me feel comfortable and more comfortable in the body that I'm currently in. Um, and I sound like when I go, when I finally get the surgery and I'm on T, I'm gonna escape this body and go do a new one. Technically, yeah, but mm, not exactly. Um, so, uh, but I asked them if they if they're willing to help me find a way that's safe and cheap, a way to help me pass as the gender that I identify that I am. Um, I would do some way to pay them back, and I will and I will do that. But honestly, if they if one of them, or some of them, or even all of them, get together and they help me, there's nothing I can do that can pay them back for the kindness that they have given to me. Um, so, uh, yeah. And if you're going through the same problems I'm having, just think of the good side of it. You might think that there's no good side to it, but there is. Um, um, 
when I uh, first came out to my parents of me being transgender and that I identify as male, um, after that nightmare, times three now, um, um, Oh, sorry, um, could have sworn some, by the way, I'm not going to cut any of this, so if I seem distracted, I'm sorry, but, um, where was I, but, yeah, oh, yeah, but, even if you don't think that there's any good side to this, the pain that you're going through, there is a good, there is a good side to it, um, uh, like I said, um, I know, um, I know after the fiasco and trying to come out to my parents and I was trans, um, I thought there was no good side to it and my depression just got even worse. So, uh, so yeah, and, um, And yeah, but don't give up, okay? Don't give up. Keep running to the light of the end of the tunnel. You'll be fine, okay? I I know. <laughs> and um, yeah, just keep going. Keep fighting. You'll get there. You'll get to that point in your life where you can you can make yourself make your, make yourself look like the way you want. That you'll feel comfortable in. That is you. And you'll be happy. And if you're not, that's that's not the end of it. Alright? So so yeah. If if you think that um after getting the surgery, if you do go through it, if you think that that's it you you're wrong, okay, um, and I know I shouldn't talk because I haven't gotten the surgery yet, um, me being 17 and my parents think that just because I'm a teenager, I don't know what I want and I don't know who I am, bullshit, <laughs> alright, let me get more comfortable, but um, I just gonna have to, shit, just gonna have to deal with my double chin, <laughs> okay, I can't wait to get this out of the way, but no. I had to deal with driver's ed first. I'm not saying that's a problem, but I would like to exercise first before I learn. But, um, but, like, yeah. Yeah. But, like I said, um, I'm not ashamed of who I am, and I'm not gonna let anyone, not even my parents, tell me who I am or what I am because only I and only you have only I have the right to say who I am and what I am and only you have the right to say what you are and who you are no one else has that right because they're not you all right they don't know what you're going through all right and if they <laughs> if they did and if you're going through the same problems as me, and they know what you're dealing with, then why the fuck are you dealing with the same problems as me? Just saying. But, uh, yeah. So, um, and I think that's it. Um, this is longer than vlogs earlier. Um, I hope you liked my, um, my Photoshop coloring projects that I did. Um, if I, on Friday, if I finish the pixel art project and save it onto my flash drive, I already got a flash drive uh, on my flash drive, it's just not finished, but if I do finish it, I'm going to show you guys. Um, so, uh, yes, but, yeah. Also, I got PowerPoint, and considering there's a way to make a better outro with PowerPoint, I'm good, that's that's my uh, tool for a better um, 
a better, you know, yeah. So yeah, if you like this vlog, leave a like, drop a comment, um, tell tell me if you're going through similar similar problems like I am. Um, tell me how you're doing. Tell me how your parents are doing. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Just leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you have it. It'll mean a lot to me. And, um, I'm gonna end this, um, vlog with, um, an outro that will be no long, will be no more. So, uh, yeah. I love you all to death. Hope you're having a great evening. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys just keep being crazy. And don't let anyone tell you who you are or what you are. Only you have that right. Bye.